Unveiling Tamil Diaspora, a journey through 19th and 20th century migrations. Join us on a captivating exploration of the migration of Tamils in the 19th and 20th centuries, a journey shaped by historical, socio-economic, and political forces. Delve into the distinct lifestyles, traditions, languages, educational paths, and religious practices that define these two eras of Tamil migration. From the labor-intensive journeys of the 19th century to the diverse professions and global dispersal of the 20th century, our channel, All About Tamils, invites you to immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of Tamil culture, heritage, and trajectories. Subscribe now and become part of the conversation as we celebrate the past, present, and future of the Tamil communities worldwide. The migration of Tamils in the 19th and 20th centuries had distinct characteristics, influenced by historical, socio-economic, and political factors. While there are similarities, there are also notable differences in terms of lifestyle, traditions, language, education, religious practices, destinations, and the future trajectories of these Tamil communities. One Lifestyle and Traditions 19th century, Tamils who migrated in the 19th century were often laborers and indentured workers, primarily sent to British colonies like Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore, Mauritius, West Indies and Fiji. They maintained many traditional practices and cultural norms from their homeland while adapting to the local environments. Their lifestyles were often centered around manual labor and agricultural activities. 20th century, in the 20th century, Tamil migration was more diverse in terms of professions and reasons for migration. While some continued to work in labor-intensive fields, others migrated for education, skilled employment, and business opportunities. This led to a wider range of professions and a broader integration into local societies, often resulting in shifts in traditional practices and cultural identity. Two language. 19th century. The Tamils who migrated in the 19th century usually spoke Tamil as their primary language and maintained their linguistic ties to their homeland. They often communicated with fellow migrants and locals in Tamil. 20th century, while Tamil remained an important language for the Tamils who migrated in the 20th century, their linguistic assimilation was influenced by the countries they moved to. In many cases, they adopted local languages for communication while continuing to use Tamil in their homes and communities. Three education and institutions. 19th century, educational opportunities for 19th century migrants were limited, and many relied on traditional forms of education. Schools and institutions were often established within Tamil communities to teach language, culture, and basic education. 20th century, with improved access to education, 20th century Tamil migrants had more opportunities for formal education. They often integrated into local educational systems while also maintaining cultural and language-focused institutions. Four religious practices. 19th century, the religious practices of 19th century Tamil migrants were influenced by their Hindu and Christian backgrounds. They established temples and churches in their new countries to maintain their religious and cultural identities. 20th century, religious practices continued to play a significant role for 20th century Tamil migrants, although these practices were sometimes adapted to accommodate their new environments. Temples and religious organizations remained important centers of community life. 5. Migration Destinations 19th century, 19th century Tamil migrants were often sent to British colonies in Asia, Africa, and the Pacific. They were part of the indentured labor system, working on plantations and in other industries. 20th century, Tamil migration in the 20th century expanded to various parts of the world, including Western countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States, as well as other Asian countries for education and employment opportunities. Six future trajectories. The 19th century Tamil communities have had more time to establish their presence and integrate into their host countries. Over the years, they have evolved into diverse and vibrant diaspora communities, contributing culturally, socially, and economically to their respective nations. The 20th century Tamil communities are still in the process of shaping their long-term trajectories. These communities often maintain strong connections with their homeland while also contributing to their host countries in various fields. In conclusion, while both the 19th and 20th century Tamil migrations involved aspects of preserving cultural identity and heritage, the 20th century migration was marked by more diverse professions, linguistic assimilation, and a broader global dispersal of Tamil communities. These differences reflect the changing dynamics of migration, global connectivity, and the ways in which cultural identities are negotiated in new and evolving contexts. Don't miss out on the adventure. Subscribe to All About Tamils and become part of a community celebrating Tamil heritage. Let's explore, learn, and cherish the beauty of this rich culture together. Thanks for watching and please subscribe now to join the conversation.